tragic news from uh, Gaza. Um, as always, very tragic. Uh, 226 killed. Hundreds more wounded. I think I saw the figure 400 wounded. That was yesterday's yeah. figure, so it could be quite a bit more now. And um, yeah, this was a hostage rescue operation, and I think that it was operation. yes, it was um, in classic Israeli style that led to hundreds of people being killed. Um, Four there people. Was, yeah, there is a there is an amazing. Um, there's a clip of these two female hostages who seem to have actually rather enjoyed their time um, living with Hamas. Where one of them says, um, uh, "I was I was terrified that the Israeli military would would try and rescue us at, at any moment because yeah. they knew well that they, they, they were likely would Hannibal's coming killed. to town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They likely would have been killed in the process. But like, so that this I think that this was like a desperate bid to get a propaganda win, both for international audiences, but also the the, the domestic. The, the Israeli public or what remains of it because they've all gone back to their actual home countries yeah. um, uh, I gather that there's um, a, a, one of the key sources of injury for Israeli soldiers at the moment is sunburn because they're operating in, um, you know, uh, conditions they're not evolved to 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 operate in. What do you but, say? Look at me. Do yeah. I not look indigenous yes. to the Middle East? Yeah, indeed, indeed. But it's just like, well, I mean, your hair and your beard, but like that. <laughs> but, 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 when, but, I was, yeah. when I was, uh, sorry, we'll, we'll go on, but I got to give this little anecdote because I used to grow my beard out. I think my first, the, our first episode, I had it like that. But when I was uh, living inside of the Venezuelan embassy in Washington, D.C., the opposition protesters uh, nicknamed me Taliban. Yes, <laughs> but the um, perhaps yeah the um, that was that was a weird time actually when you joined the group. You really, <laughs> they, they, you really thought they cared about you? Yeah, I like, did. No, you, all you wanted was a wife. Well, I was <laughs> I was looking for opium, and it turns out that they were actually the ones against it. Yeah, so no, indeed. I uh, the, the I, people, I then joined the U.S. Army. The wrong so. people to ask. Uh, but yeah. The, <laughs> But yeah, that so that this was a hostage rescue operation. It was quite clearly intended to um yeah, provide a propaganda boost because actually the war um has been really, really, really damaging for Israel um in every way. And there was this amazing um uh Haaretz article written by this hardcore Zionist where he was saying well, you know, we used to portray ourselves internationally as as basically in this invincible military power, and then we've been exposed as a, a shtetl, which is like a yeah. Jewish uh, village. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like a yeah. Jewish settlement um, with an air force. Um, and yeah, that's true. I mean, even the Economist, which is like nakedly Zionist. Um, publication which had the fucking temerity to claim that South Africa's case against Israel was quote unquote flimsy. Um, th th they published this extensive post mortem on the absolute failure of is is uh, Israel's um, operations in Gaza, stating that it's tur it's turned the country into well the 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 settler colonial state into an international pariah. It's failed all of its military objectives, and its military has been ground into goo basically yeah. like yeah there's a lot of a lot of people have fled conscription a lot of people have been killed and they haven't touched hamas yeah. really so i think yeah that the the, 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 the the this was an attempt to get some positive headlines um there are videos of israelis cheering that they've been um uh, successfully retrieved because it, despite the fact that they have neither the the muscle nor the um uh, the, 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 the capacity in terms of people and uh, 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 and wealth to do this, they are gearing up for all-out war with Hezbollah in yeah. the north because Hezbollah has been conducting some uh, rather hard-hitting operations d d d designed, sorry, well, intended with flushing out settlers from the north of, of Israel, which is basically captured yeah. Lebanese territory. Um, so in that context, and in, and there are these mass protests by um, Israelis because of the government's failure to re retrieve the hostages, which Hamas offered to do, yeah. offered to return them on October 8th. Yeah in return for their compatriots being released from Israeli dungeons. Right. Um, and the release of children who yep. were jailed for throwing stones at uh, Israeli tanks. Um, yeah, that it, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a mark of total failure, but a really interesting aspect of it, which has now been reported on by the New York Times, so it's quite clear that they want to, the powers that be want to confirm but also massage the fact that British and American forces are, are directly implicated in the, the Gaza genocide 
they acknowledged that the US and Britain, this is the Times, were involved in the hostage rescue operation. Yeah. And they, yes, they, 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 they claim that the US provided intelligence on the hostages before Israel's successful rescue operation. Um, yeah, the Pentagon and the CIA have been providing information collected from drone flights over Gaza, communication intercepts and other sources about the potential location of hostages. Uh, while Israel has its own intelligence, the US and Britain have been able to provide intelligence from the air and cyberspace that Israel cannot collect on its own. Um, I mean, which sounds like all, all well and good, but if you rewind to, I think it might have even been on October, or at least it was only a few weeks after the, the genocide erupted last year, that the there is a little known British Ministry, Ministry of Defence run body called the DSMA Committee, the Defence and Security Media Advisory Committee, which effectively dictates what the British media can and can't report on um, on matters related to national security and how they can and can't report on it. Uh, uh, they the DSMA issued a letter to all media outlets saying um, uh, the committee aims to prevent inadvertent disclosure of classified information about special forces and other units engaged in security, intelligence and counter-terror operations in Gaza, including their methods, techniques and activities, which is a euphemism for the S Britain's SAS, and we must assume that the, the US Joint Special Operations Command or other uh, criminal uh, mil military units are directly involved in this. Yeah. Uh, um, and I think that when you bear in mind that there have been a number of targeted strikes of healthcare workers but also journalists um in this in this conflict if you even call it that um the, the obvious question is whether that's being provided by the us and britain as well um, declassified uk has done um uh, some fantastic uh work on this where they 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 show based on open source flight logs that there were 30 there have been dozens of military transport flights from british bases in cyprus which is not so far from the middle east um, and Israel since this began and the British government refuses to clarify what is on these flights and why they are being conducted yeah. but we can use our imagination yeah and I do I do want to go over some of the uh, intricacies some of the things that have been reported so far about uh, this um, this so-called rescue operation um, again uh, US and British intelligence providing uh, in Intel um, the US this is via the New York Times. The U.S. provided intelligence on hostages before Israel's successful operation Saturday. According to American and Israeli officials briefed on the assistance, a team of American hostage recovery officials stationed in Israel assisted the Israeli military's effort to rescue four captives by providing intelligence and other logistical support, one American official, official said. Uh, speaking without attribution, that's the new term for uh, on the condition of anonym, anonymity, um, the Pentagon and the CIA have been providing information collected uh, from drone flights over Gaza, communication intercepts, and other sources about the potential location of hostages. While Israel has its own intelligence, the U.S. and Britain have been able to provide intelligence from air and cyberspace that Israel cannot collect on its own, Israeli officials said. Um, so, and we have via Axios, um, I also want to bring up some of these mm -hmm. clips here, um, some of these comments that this is axios exclusive uh they are tied to the white house very closely um and oftentimes are able to publish these kind of uh exclusive reports based off of anonymous uh officials the united states this is uh jake sullivan um the what is he national security Dir direct uh, coordinator at the white house um, the United, and th this is his response to the rescue operation. Again, 226 mm -hmm. killed, 400 wounded, four rescued. The United States is supporting all efforts to secure the release of hostages from Hamas, including American citizens. This includes through negotiations or other means. That's the end of the quote. Uh, we will not stop working until all hostages come home and the ceasefire is reached. It is essential that that happens. That's via Biden. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have war crimes, um, because if this is not on its face, just the facts on paper, a war crime in itself, we have uh, documentation of, this is via the cradle, troops hide inside aid trucks for deadly U.S.-Israel operation in Nusrat. 
forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. Let me reload this page, but there's footage. Well, I'll pull up the tweet because the cradle is not loading. Just give me a minute, folks. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see here, there are armored Israeli tanks, which are escorting a humanitarian truck. There's the truck, there's the humanitarian truck and armored tanks. We also have testimony from a man. Jeez. Oh, testimony from a man who was injured. Let me just start that clip over. I was walking in the street. The truck stopped. It was carrying clothes and kitchenware. I thought it was humanitarian truck from Rafa. Suddenly, maybe 10 armored armed exited from the truck. Special forces. They shot me in the chest and in the arm. He was one of the lucky ones. Yeah, um, he, exactly. Yeah. And this is what a rescue operation looks like in Israel. I'm going to turn on the audio for this one. That's a rescue operation. <laughs> Now, one other thing that I think needs to be mentioned here is the use of the uh, aid peer in this operation. CENTCOM has denied it, and we have via CENTCOM here. U.S. Central Command, uh, the humanitarian peer facility including its equipment, personnel, and assets, were not used in the operation to rescue hostages today in Gaza. Yet, we also have video of helicopters allegedly departing with the rescuees, the hostages, or, you know, prisoners of war, as I think they would mm. more accurately be called departing from the pier here so you can see that's the pier and right in front of it is a helicopter so centcom has admitted that the israelis used a location south of the pier this appears to be you know just a few feet away to the south um very uh very deceptive um, and I'm reminded of a quote by Peter Ustinov in the movie Romanov and Juliet. <laughs> We've got to get out of here before the Americans have time to offer us aid. We've got to get out of here before the American Americans have time to offer us aid. So, uh, yeah, I mean, ongoing genocide in, in, in Gaza, uh, as usual. Um, I don't know if you have anything more you'd like to add. Um, it's it's a t difficult subject to cover because I mean, just I I feel sorry for any uh, actual news organizations that follow this because it's like every day you know, breaking news more dead children. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I th I think is I th I think as well that what's what's really interesting. And this is something that I've noticed since I've returned to, I've I've been released from Twitter jail, um, so to speak, in the past few weeks. Is that like the, the the amount of material that's actually getting out on what's happening in Rafa and Gaza is minimal. Yeah. Like there is quite clearly a massive effort to prevent um the 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 grisly photos and images and videos that were that were uh, emerging um every yes every single day. 
with depressing consistency um that yeah that the israel is like largely ca carrying out a, a genocide in rafa without very much in the way of, of people really knowing yeah. or seeing what they're doing um it is a quite incredible level of control and the we saw this with um attempts by zionists to rig eurovision they are purely focused on on pretty much desperate propaganda wins um and i think it would be interesting to see what these hostages if they're even allowed to speak publicly have to say about their experiences and um what they think of hundreds of people having been killed in order to in order to rescue them yeah um the, the israel of course has in the, has attempted to prevent um hostages from speaking out about um what happened while they were um while they were captured because often they have rather positive stories of there was like some young girl who said that she learned the importance of sharing and like, and, and, and ensuring that everyone was fed before she was yeah. um so yeah that the, they are the, 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 they are flailing um pretty desperately at this at this at this stage um the, the pure suppression of 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 their actions is 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 about the best that they can do something like this is the second best that they can do yeah so god 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 help us all hey everyone um if you enjoyed this video or or any of our other content uh please give us a follow on twitter or subscribe to us on youtube it'll help us beat the algorithm oligarchs thank you